Hi guys, welcome to Love to Code. So in this video, we are going to discuss C programming questions, which is asked in Zoho Corporation round one. So I will be uploading series of videos on C programming. This is the part one video. So let's start. So in this complete video, we'll discuss to predict the output of a given question. So the first question is they have given you a code zip net where you have to uh, predict the output you have to write the output so here given main method which contains an integer constant pointer p which is initialized to the value phi after that they are printing it before printing this they are trying to increment the pointer so what will be the output of this so the output of this will be an compilation error since we have declared p as a constant we cannot modify any constant so p is a pointer to a constant integer hence it throws in compilation error so let's go to another question so here they have given a question code strip net so here we can see that they have declared a character array of size 100 and then in a inside a printf statement a method they are calling scanf and uh, so let's see so input value given for a scanf is allowed to code that is a string so what happens is this allowed to code is given as the input for a scanf and it is written in the character array arr so after that what happens is scanf returns some value so that value is printed so in this case it is one uh, it is one because whenever a scanf reads a successful input so it returns that value that is scanf returns the number of inputs it successfully read so in this case the output will be one so let's go to another question so here the given question is uh, simple we, uh, it has only one uh, printf statement and inside that we can see that there is phi plus a string so let us assume that the string base address is to be thousand so the answer is code how so what happens is uh, printf is a library function defined under studio.h header the compiler what it does is it adds phi to the base address of a string to this expression so let's uh, let me show you expression so this to this expression it adds base address with phi what happens is since it is in 0 thousand thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four and thousand five this value is returned to printf so when it returns this value this value gets printed until it finds a null character so I expected output will be code. So let's go to another question. So the given question is similar kind of a previous one. So here we have to see how the compiler evaluates this expression. So the output will be C. How it is. So actually the compiler breaks this expression in this format shown here what it does is it points uh, it points to this string uh, as well as it adds phi suppose this uh, allow to code has a base address of thousand it adds to phi and then it point and then what happens is uh, since zero, uh, uh, let's consider this as thousand, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, and thousand five. So if the base address of i is thousand, and it adds to phi, so the value will be at uh, this point will be c, and also we can see that we are printing only a character, so only c gets printed here. So this will be a output. So let's move to another question. So this is also similar to a previous one. Here also we have to see how the compiler 
uh, breaks this expression and returns the output here also the expected output is c only the same explanation but the expression is in different order previously the phi was you know, outside and the string was inside the bracket now it is outside now it is vice versa same uh, explanation applies here so let's move to another question so they have given a code snippet and they are trying to print the main method main method name so we, this is a main method and its name is main so they are trying to print this so the expected output will be the address of function main how so what actually happens is name of a function is actually a pointer variable that will be pointing to the address so whenever that will be pointing to the function whenever we try to print the name of a function it will print the address of that function so let's discuss another question so this question is that they have given code snippet in which uh, there is an integer a b and c where a is 5 and b is 1 so below that line you can see that c is equals to a and there is a comment this comment and after that they are taking plus and they are adding a and in between a plus b there are some comment so what happens here actually so whenever there is a comment the compiler compiler neglects this command and it adds a and b so what happens is a is 5 and b is 1 so it adds and 6 and 6 return to c while printing we can see there is another command but this is enclosed within quotes whenever it is enclosed within quotes it considers it as a string so the expected output will be c and the command so this will be the expected output the explanation will be compiler removes everything between these these and if anything present inside double quotes it doesn't remove so uh, today for this video this uh, these are the questions which we have discussed so from this the important points which we should remember in order to solve this kind of problems is that constant variable cannot be modified whenever scanf reads some input it will return the successfully read inputs and then name of a function is actually a pointer variable to that function so whenever uh, we are commenting if it is inside a double quotes it is not neglected whenever it is outside the double quotes compiler will remove that so thanks for watching this video please like subscribe and share i will be posting more videos on c programming quiz thank you